Hey y'all. So I think I'm gonna let me turn my phone this way. Yeah, I think I need to turn it this way. I don't know. This way is better. Then it makes me look weird. I don't know. Anyways, I think I'm gonna turn it back this way. Yeah, I think this way is better. This way better. I don't know. My poor little hair. It's so dry. I have to um set my hair. So, anyways, <clears throat> hey y'all. So this is gonna be my um update right okay this is my weight loss update i know i told you guys i was gonna try not to do it weekly anymore because um the weekly stuff is just team too much like the week go by too fast and i don't want to like stress on the scale like weekly you know what i'm saying like it's one thing if i don't lose like you know a couple pounds or so a month you know what i'm saying but like i don't know weekly i think it's just it's just too much it's too much weekly anyways but um i don't know i don't think it was like a week or two I mean, no, not a week or two. It's been a couple weeks, probably a few weeks since I said that. And so weight loss have not been going the way I wanted to go, if I can be honest with you guys. It has not been going the way it's supposed to go. Um, and it's partially my fault because I just like I had things that just stopped me. Like for instance, like last week I really like I hardly worked out because it stormed like four days out the week it was storming like storming and so um I didn't go walk and stuff you know I like to do my miles I didn't go walk um I kind of was eating however you know what I'm saying like I just I really wasn't on my stuff and I was just I was just having a moment honestly like when I got back from um Texas I just wasn't I don't know I wasn't in the best space I just I just wasn't in the best space and um yeah and now I'm um I'm gone again. I'm still in Louisiana. I'm just somewhere else, but so I'm in a room now and it's quite peaceful, honestly. I got my notebooks with me, y'all, and I got my book that I'm rereading, which is the Steve Harvey book. Um I haven't decided if I'm gonna um go ahead and actually record that as well for our personal development book, but it's a really good one. I think it's um Act Like a Success, Think Like a Success or something. It's definitely one of the books that I um recommend everybody reads so yeah so um uh the weight right now i think in my last video i told you guys i was like 225 or whatever and um i'm basically at the same thing okay like i legit um weighed myself on the scale uh yesterday well not yesterday like two days ago and i was at 224 and i was supposed to let you guys know then but um i had a lot of stuff going on so it was like 224.3 or something and then of course um it was that time of the month so when i stepped on the scale this morning it was showing me like four pounds heavier five pounds heavier and it's like i don't know i don't really count that because i know like once my cycle is like over it kind of it goes back down and it's just like a every month thing so i don't know if you just like i don't know i guess the I don't know the liquid or something whatever i don't know it makes you like um i don't know what it make you do but i'm just saying i'm always heavier when it's that time of my cycle like i'm always heavier like i don't know this has been a bad thing for me too i've been drinking sodas I normally don't drink sodas like that or at least i do the low calorie ones but lately i don't know what's been going on i've been having headaches and i've just been drinking a coke to get rid of it which is not good like that is not good or whatever i just had some um okay so because i'm in the hotel and um i'm out here in the city like i really don't care to drive in the city so it's kind of like when i come out here and i park like i just park and i catch everything like walking distance and so yeah so the only thing that they have open like right now that's like near me and walking distance was like the steakhouse downstairs and it's ruth chris steakhouse and so yeah i bought some um i got lamb chops with a salad that i can't eat because they gave me like this vinaigrette dressing but it's legit oil like i can't eat salad with just oil like ugh, oh. the thought of it is getting to me because i tried it like i tasted it and it was just horrendous so i'll probably put that um excuse me i'll probably put that salad in the fridge and maybe eat it tomorrow i'll just have to get me a bottle of dressing from like the corner store or something something that's like close because i'm not like i said i don't care to drive in the city i just don't want to be in the middle of the traffic you know and so I got some lamb chops. I got some uh, garlic mashed potatoes. Um, and then I got like crab cakes. I really could have went did without the crab cakes. It wasn't really that good. They weren't nasty, but I'm just saying like I had enough food. Like I didn't have to get that. Because literally those three items, um, it was $90. So, ugh, 90 whole bucks. 
<sighs> yeah so it was good though i'm pretty full i'm so disappointed in these hotels you guys like my room is so nice it's, it's really nice it's really big and um you know it looks really good but and i can't wait to use the bathtub like i just can't wait i'm gonna go in, i'm gonna clean it out you know i just like to clean it out myself when i come to hotels but it's really really big and it's really deep and i just love a deep bathtub and it has like the little standalone shower and everything <coughs> which is really good for me um because i like that too but um yeah so oh my god this was my intent i need to go put this ac because i'm so hot but i guess i'll show you guys my room but listen i want to tell you guys oh my god let me tell you see okay so what i just said about this weight loss about how you know it's kind of been slow and i ain't really like you know necessarily bent on my shit but guess what today is july 1st okay i'm about to get on my shit i'm about to get on my shit i'm about to get on my shit hold on i can't even turn this around i was trying to show you guys my room see my little bed right there um that's my stuff that's my food i was eating and this is my nice little bathroom do y'all see this this is so nice i guess you guys can see where i'm at because of that right and this is the tub like look how big this tub is it's so deep like it's so 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 deep anyways i can't wait to get in it so listen so okay i just said like i i wasn't on my shit you know i haven't been losing weight like i should right However, y'all wouldn't believe what I just had the other day. So I had a doctor appointment, a consultation with a plastic surgeon. No, I'm not going to get no booty just yet. <laughs> that is not the reason I went. Y'all, I got up and said I was going to load the AC down. And guess what I did? <sighs> guess what I did? I didn't load it down. I didn't load the AC down. I didn't get my pump. Okay, yeah, so um, let me just go ahead and say what I'm saying. Because I'm trying to figure out why is it so hard to press this damn AC? Okay, yeah, so this is what happened. I went for a consultation for, you guessed it, these biddies, y'all. These biddies. These biddies, do you see them? You see these? Okay, so. I went in for my consultation, of course. Sis is a perfect candidate for them because these are way too big. You see these? Yes. Okay, so went to my consultation, perfect candidate for it. Um, he didn't really ask me much. He just told me like the insurance take about like a couple of weeks to go through and stuff. And so, yeah. So I am, but they still gave me the date because I said they don't see it being any problem with the insurance company. They took pictures of my boobs are sitting and everything and yeah so my surgery is officially scheduled for august 4th okay so my surgery is scheduled for august 4th and let me tell you guys that like i mean i already take my weight loss and my life serious but like it's really finna be serious because like i don't know you guys can see but you see this belly i got right here it's not as bad as it was. Like, let me tip this down. It's not as bad as it was, actually. Because if you look at my video from before, it's definitely a difference. But I feel like my boobs, like, I feel like my boobs really hinder, you know, my body. Like, and me working out. Because if these weren't so large, I would look way smaller. But I look so big because i'm just so top heavy that's why i hate posting like full body photos because like literally the first thing you see when you post a picture no matter what wig i got on matter none of that like the first thing you see is this no matter if i got on nice eyebrows makeup the first thing you see is damn boots so i am so happy like you don't even understand like y'all don't understand so on the paper um i'm currently like a 40 well i was like a 44 h but i kind of fit into my 42 h um and i guess that's because of like you know the little 20 pound weight loss or whatever but um yeah so i'm basically an h cup now they do ask me on the paper they ask, i'm sorry i'm moving so much y'all they ask on the paper uh what size you desire but i know that it all comes down to them giving you something that fits for your body or whatever 
um and stuff so but for me i said i would like a d cup okay i asked for a d and you know they say ask and you shall receive so hopefully i receive a d cup and like <clears throat> i thought for a second i might want a um like a double d but then i was like you know what nah sis fuck that nope nope give me a d give me a d and let me be part of the itty bitty titty committee or next door to it whichever the cousin to it whatever i don't know but give me a single d and i can work with that so you guys i'm so excited i'm so excited like i've never been so excited in my life and i'm nervous as fuck like i ain't even gonna lie like i'm so nervous because i'm like man like you know like you're gonna get cut on you know what i'm saying like what if i become botched or something but it's like listen as long as i'm titty small i don't give a damn i just put my faith in the lord <laughs> you know what i mean like he's gonna get me through this because i have to get rid of these boobs because i know if i get rid of them like oh, you think i'd be serious about my life and intentional about my business and everything now just let me get rid of these titties Whew. I want to see some work. I know if I could trade in my lungs, I would trade them in too because you know my lungs are so bad. So I can't really like run, run and stuff like that. But I can run a little bit, you know what I'm saying? But I could trade in these titties, and that's what I intend to do. And I can't wait. I'm gonna um film as much of it as I can for people who are just you know wondering how I go and everything. I'm gonna film as much as I can so so you guys can know. So, anyways, I'm so happy. I'm so happy. So to all of my little subscribers, y'all just say a prayer for me, you know, and all of the other people, you know, I don't TLC people, whatever, whatever brought you here to this video, you know, I appreciate you. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, so that is it for me, you guys. Um, <coughs> I'm gonna kick back into my workout. Um, you know, I'm out here doing my little networking and everything, but. It's a lot of space in this room. I'm going to get me work out in. Because it's really no excuse. Even if it rained, it's like no excuse for me not to work out. I still should be able to work out. So I'm going to get out of that habit and make sure that I still dedicate some time to working out. Like no matter what. You know what I'm saying? And you see this right here? You see this? You see the size of these straps? Who about to have these straps? Not me. This finna go. All these big ass, big titty straps and shit. <sighs> So, anyways, I'll see you guys um, maybe next week. Well, as far as, like, you know, weight loss update-ish, I'll see you guys, like, in a week or two. Um, but I'll see you guys in a little while or, like, tomorrow because I'm going to record some videos while I'm here and everything. Get my head together, taking some pictures. So, see you guys next time.